Hi, welcome to Tradutex Portuguese Lessons. Today we are going to talk about the colors. In Portuguese, as cores. As cores. First color we are going to learn is red. Vermelho. Vermelho. And one thing you need to know about the colors in Portuguese is that we have more than one option for each color. For instance, red is vermelho, but it's also vermelha, vermelhos and vermelhas. So now you are wondering how this works exactly? So let's have a look at some examples. Imagine you want to say in Portuguese the red boat. So, first of all, boat is barco. As you can see, barco ends with a no, so that means that it's a masculine word. So, if I want to say the red boat, I will say o barco vermelho. So, everything must go masculine and singular, o barco vermelho. But if you want to say in Portuguese the red house, that's different because house is casa. So now it's not a masculine word, casa, it's a feminine word. That's why if I want to say the red house, I have to say a casa vermelha. A casa vermelha. Now everything must go mm, feminine and singular. And it's the same logic behind the plural sentences. So if you want to say in Portuguese the red boats and boats is barcos, so because it's plural we have to add an S at the end, so we have the red boats os barcos vermelhos, os barcos vermelhos. And if I want to say the red houses, remember that house well, is a feminine word, so houses is casas, feminine because it ends with an A and plural because it ends with an S, so casas, the red houses is as casas vermelhas. So now you're starting to understand how this works. Did you realize as well that in Portuguese the color comes after the noun? And in English, it comes before. So, if you say in English, the red houses, in Portuguese, it's the other way around. Is as casas vermelhas. So, vermelhas comes after the word casas. So, we have a lot of colors that work exactly the same way. So, let's learn them. Yellow, for example, amarelo, amarelo, or, as you already know, it can be amarelo, amarela, amarelos, amarelas. So, taking the same examples we've seen before, we have o barco amarelo, the yellow boat, a casa amarela, the yellow house, os barcos amarelos, the yellow boats, as casas amarelas, the yellow houses. And let's learn another one. Preto. Black is preto. Preto or, as you already know, preto, preta, pretos, pretas. Remember why? O barco preto, the black boat. A casa preta, the black house. Os barcos pretos, the black boats. As casas pretas, the black houses. Same thing with the color brown. Brown in Portuguese is castanho. Castanho or castanha, castanhos. Castanhas. So, again, the same four options. Remember? O barco castanho, the brown boat. A casa castanha, the brown house. 
os barcos castanhos, the brown boats, as casas castanhas, brown houses. And it's exactly the same with the color grey. In Portuguese, cinzento. Cinzento or cinzenta, cinzentos, cinzentas. O barco cinzento, a casa cinzenta, os barcos cinzentos, as casas cinzentas. And it's also the same rule with the color white. In Portuguese, branco, branco or branca, brancos, brancas. O barco branco, a casa branca, os barcos brancos, as casas brancas. The same with purple in Portuguese, roxo, roxo or roxa, roxos, roxas. So now you can guess is o barco roxo, a casa roxa, os barcos roxos, as casas roxas. So let's just make a quick revision of everything we have learned so far. We've seen that for, what, for each one of these colors we have four options and that depends on masculine, feminine, singular and plural. So we've learned vermelho, vermelha, vermelhos, vermelhas, amarelo, amarela, amarelos, amarelas, preto, preta, pretos, pretas, castanho, castanha, castanhos, castanhas, cinzento, cinzenta, cinzentos, cinzentas, branco, branca, brancos, brancas, roxo, roxa, roxos, roxas. Obrigada. Thanks for watching.